and ATC. Let's all stand together. It's good to see you in the house of the Lord today. We have a very special service planned for us. God is going to do great things. There are going to be people who are going to be streaming in here over the next 15 minutes. So we're asking you just be mindful as guests are coming in to make a place for them. If you would do that for us, we would appreciate that very much. We're so very happy to have Urshan College with us. Their chorale is coming to sing and minister to us today. I was just in the prayer room. There they were. Their voices were just filling the room, lifting up the Lord Jesus Christ. And they were also lifting up this congregation. They are not interested in a concert. They're interested in a worship moment that will usher us all into the presence and power of Almighty God. Hallelujah. So we're delighted for everyone who's here. We're going to start with a congregational song. This is a song for all of us. There is no point in this service where this is just a spectator moment. This entire service is a time of worship for all of us. But could we all just lift our voices to the Lord together and ask the Lord Jesus Christ to fill this place with his glory. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we love you. We are so thankful for this day that you have made. We're thankful for every life that is here. We're thankful for the power of your spirit. Lord, this is Pentecost Sunday, the day of the outpouring of your spirit upon the world. Let us have another Pentecost today in Jesus' name. Anoint every musician, every voice, God, as they praise you in Jesus' name. Remain standing as we sing together.
Turn to somebody. Let them know you're happy to see them in the house of the Lord today. you Jesus can I tell you something we just finished men's retreat we had an incredible time at men's retreat there was a man who was incarcerated for 11 years his name was Jeremiah and he was one through our prison ministry started attending the prison ministry in 2011 when he got out, the first thing he wanted to do was go into men's retreat and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of his sins. I'm so thankful for that. Brother Scott Graham preached to us, preached masterfully, challenged us, kicked down every excuse we've ever had to quit. Are there any men in the house that are saying, I'm going forward in Jesus? Oh, yes. Amen. Gentlemen, just in case you're wondering, this is his daughter right here. He was talking about you at the men's retreat, so we wanted to identify you. And a little later, she's going to be preaching for us just in this service this morning. So. <laughs> Amen. We're so happy to have the Urshan Corral, and we're also very delighted to have their director of music here with us, Sister Payne, Sister Laura Payne. There she is. She's an incredible lady. And if you're just getting in here, this is not a concert. This is a worship moment for all of us. So if you feel led to stand, stand. If you feel led to clap your hands, clap your hands. If you feel led to worship, stand in an aisle and worship the Almighty God. Go ahead and do that. We're here to celebrate Jesus Christ and Him crucified in Jesus' name. One last thing I want to say. If you're a guest here today, my wife, Heather, would you please raise your hand? We would love to just personally meet you. Behind you in the main foyer, there is a, a, an office wing that says administrative offices. There will be an usher there to take you back to our hospitality suite. We have some refreshments there for you. We would love to personally thank you for being in service with us. You would absolutely make our day if you would just take that time and meet us in the hospitality suite. Would you please welcome the Urshan Corral as they sing.
Jesus, you're worthy. Oh, 
today. Hallelujah. It's so good to be in Appleton, Wisconsin with you all today. I see some familiar faces. You guys have already welcomed us into your church last night. We've had a great time. And you guys may be seated if you would like to be. I am here to just give you a little testimony, a little story. And when Sister Payne asked me to, the story of the prodigal son came to my mind. And in Luke 15, we see a son who took all his belongings and he left his father's house. But you see, when he got out of his father's house outside of it, he was in the world and he realized that even the servants of his father's house had it better than he did out there with the pigs, right? But the scripture says that he came to himself and he started making his journey back to his father's house. But what I want to point out from this story is that his father didn't wait for him to get all the way to his house. It says that the father saw his son from afar off and he ran to him and he welcomed him into his house again. And I don't know what your story is today. I don't know where you came from. But if you find yourself outside of the father's house, there is a father up in heaven who is lighting your way back into his house. You don't have to get it right the first time. You don't have to get it right the second time. But when you make up in your mind, Jesus in the wilderness, wherever I am, light the way to your house. Hallelujah.
church, just give him a hand clap of praise in this place. He is worthy. He is worthy. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, you like the way to every dark time. When there's no way, you make a way, God. You are worthy, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise God. This next song comes from a very special place. One day after prayer, I was... I went back to my room and I went to go to sleep. We have prayer every Tuesday night at Urshan. I went to my room to go to sleep. But prayer had been, prayer had just been really moving that night. The spirit had been moving and I felt, I felt to do something, but I didn't know what. And I just started thinking of a song. And I thought of the words, hallowed be your name. Many of you know the Lord's Prayer. We said it, my family, we had devotions every, every single day when, when I was younger, and we said it every single, every single night after devotion. We would say the Lord's Prayer, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And I couldn't get away from that name. There's something about that name. Yes. I couldn't get away from it. I just had to give some glory to it in some way. I didn't know why. And this song came out of that. But the scripture comes to mind in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 9 through 11. It said, Know you not that the unrighteous, they shall not inherit the earth. And that, that scripture might seem hopeless to some of us. Because I don't know about you, but I don't see myself as perfect. I've made mistakes in my life that have made me unrighteous. But in verse 11, it says some simple words that are so profound. Such were some of you. It says, but you have been washed, but you have been sanctified, but you have been justified. By the name, by the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There is something about that name, something that nothing else can do. It's not in the water, it's in the name. When you call down that name, things change. When you call on that name, your sickness goes away sickness and all hell must flee at the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah Jesus so worship with us today maybe you're here maybe you're going through something maybe your testimony right now is that such am I God wants you to have a testimony today such was I I was like that but not anymore that name was called over my life this altar is open if you feel to come forward come forward that name can be called upon you today in the name of Jesus worship with us No other name, no other name can wash away iniquities. No other name, no other name can heal all sickness and disease. Your name is holy, holy.
Isn't God awesome? Let's give our Corella a hand clap of praise. You can go ahead and be seated. We having fun so far? Amen. Awesome. Praise the Lord. We're just getting started with our uh, worship concert. Just want to take a few moments to make you all aware of uh, a few announcements. Uh, in case you're not aware, we actually have three different church services here at ATC. Uh, we have two completely different services every Sunday, and we're so happy that you're here for our 10 a.m. service. Uh, but we also have a 6 p.m. service uh, this evening that's completely different, and we want to invite you to come back for that service. That's going to be our celebration service, and I want to tell you we have a good time on Sunday nights as well, celebrating the presence of God. And we're going to hear some preaching from our pastor this evening. So please come back for that tonight at 6 p.m. Also, if you're looking for a spiritual recharge in the middle of your work week, uh, come join us for our Wednesday night uh, Wisdom University. This is our midweek Bible study where we have a little time of worship, and then we go a little deeper into the Word of God um, through focused Bible teaching. Uh, pastor Soto has been teaching verse by verse through the New Testament book of Philippians. And uh, every week the Lord has been revealing some powerful truths and insights to us 
and we'd love to have you come and study along. That'll be uh, Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. Along with our Wednesday night teaching series, we also typically have a Sunday morning uh, preaching series as well. If you have ever read about the Holy Spirit or heard other, people's talk, other people talk about uh, being filled with the Holy Spirit or led by the Holy Spirit and uh, you weren't quite sure what that means, we are in a series right now called A Spirit-Led Life, The Spirit-Led Life, and we're going to continue that series um, as our pastor uh, kind of demystifies what it means to be led by the Holy Spirit. And we're going to pick up that series um, next Sunday morning at 10 a.m., so please come back for that. And then if uh, you're interested in any further announcements or ev uh, upcoming events taking place here at ATC, um, check your bulletins for dates, times, and locations. And then if you'd like to be contacted directly uh, from one of our ministry leaders regarding any of the services that we offer, in the pew in front of you we have some connect cards uh, with some specific ministries itemized for you. Uh, all you have to do is put your name, email address, and a contact number on there and then uh, check the items you want us to connect you with and we will have a representative from that specific ministry uh, call you as soon as possible or contact you as soon as possible. After you fill that card out, uh, just simply drop it off in the uh, offering basket of the, as that's coming around or you can stop by the Welcome Center after service and leave your card there. And I want to mention real quick to you, um, one of the items listed on the Connect card is uh, home Bible studies. We have a home Bible study ministry here at ATC where we will come right into the comforts of your own home and teach you uh, a free weekly home Bible study. We have many Bible study teachers right here in our congregation who would love to meet with you for only 45 minutes to an hour per week and help you to better understand the Word of God. Now, if you've never even opened a Bible before, don't feel intimidated. Uh, that's what home Bible studies are for. We start right at the very beginning of uh, what the Bible is, what its origins is, uh, um, and then we get into going through the Old and New Testaments um, chronologically. One of the great opportunities with having a home Bible study teacher uh, meet with you is that you get the chance to ask questions and then hopefully get answers to them, uh, some of those things that maybe um, seem a little bit difficult for you to understand in the past. So if home Bible studies uh, are something that you'd like to learn more about, you can either fill out a Connect card or stop at the Welcome Center after service and ask about home Bible studies. Okay, well, we're going to have our ushers come at this time. We're going to receive our tithe and offering and then get back to worshiping the Lord through music. As our ushers come, we're going to pray for this, the remainder of this service, and uh, we already feel the presence of God in this place and coming from this, this worship. Um, but let's just pray that God will continue to move and bless this gift as we give to him. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for your presence that is so real and so powerful in this place today. We thank you for allowing us to worship you through music this morning, Lord. And we pray that you continue to move in this service. Bless this gift that we give to you. Bless the giver in Jesus' name. Amen.
do you feel a beautiful presence of the Lord in the room this morning? Amen. Amen. I just feel like God is just setting up all of our hearts and preparing us and getting us right where he wants us to be so that he can speak into hearts and lives and, and do something incredible as we move forward in the service. I love what I feel in the house. What a precious, precious congregation you all are. And God is truly in your midst. God is in your midst. And it's precious to see what God is doing in this city and in this community. Amen? Amen. I, I just love what I feel, and I, I feel at home here. I feel the presence of the Lord here, and what a beautiful morning it is. Amen. You can be seated. We're going to sing in just a moment. I want to do a quick promo, just introduce a little bit of who we are and some of the things we have with us. I'm Laura Payne. I am the choral director um, for Urshan College. And it is um, just such a joy and such a privilege to be here. I, I have to say I'm feeling, I'm, I'm feeling old because today I saw Sister Mindy, who was one of my chorale students when I was at CLC, and that's got to be, I don't know, 15 years ago, long time ago. I just think she and I are both way too young for it to have been that long, but apparently it has been. But I was like, oh my goodness, I was teasing her. I said, you know, if you, if you want to just get up and do what you always used to do, you can get up and give a choral testimony if you want. I mean, she always brought the house down then. I'm sure she could bring the house down now still. <laughs> But so many incredible memories and, and so, so, much, uh, so much legacy, and I, I'm just so thankful to be here this morning. Um, we do have a table in the back um, in the foyer, and we would love for you to stop by and just say hello, introduce yourselves, um, let us get to know you a little bit better. We're incredibly grateful to the host families that took students home last night. I know that you all treated them so well, and I hope they treated you just as well in return. Um, we're really excited about our newest release from Urshan College, our King's House CD. The we're on the King's House tour, and um, it's really cool just the way the Lord spoke that theme over us and into us. It started, it started with a, a songwriting group, and we worked and worked and worked. There's one song that we never really, it, we, it just never came together the way we fully wanted to, but we spent hours on that one song. <laughs> one day, one day we're going to finish that song. I promise one day, one day. All right. But in that song, we were talking about being sons and daughters of the king. And that concept that we have been called to be sons and daughters and that from, from, you know, from stumbling, we can rise up. There's a line in the song that says, from stumbling, we rise as sons and daughters of the king. And the, it was like the Lord started early in the year just speaking that idea over us and into us. And, and it, was, it was this realization and I want to share it with you today that you truly are a called and chosen generation. We cannot be insecure in who God has made us to be because the Lord has ordered our steps and he calls us as sons and daughters and he invites us into the king's house not only just to be servants and not only just to serve the king, but he actually calls us his own and he calls his name over us. And, and those themes are just so alive in this project and we're very proud out of that project. Uh, we also have all the prior um, choral music from the last couple of years. Last year's project was named Overcomers. And some of the great, great singers that you hear today in this service, they're on this project too because they're upperclassmen and you'll hear their voices on that. You hear some of them on Faith Is. And then going a little ways farther back, four years ago, we've got Go. Great, great projects. And we're not sure why we're handing them back to, thank you, Ryman. 
Bless you. Um, we're really excited. I'm excited to share two things with you. Um, as we journey and the fall, these are two EPs, and, and let me explain a little bit about what they are. One of the things that is happening at Urshan that I think is so beautiful is a real emphasis on nurturing songwriters, and not just nurturing songwriters in the sense of choir music, but individual solo artistry, and also nurturing artists who have something to share that may not fit into a conventional choir model, so to speak. Last year, for a young adult conference that we do every year called Live Less Ordinary, we created an EP called The Fall. And it's a collection of six Urshan artists who wrote and recorded songs that God was speaking to them. This year, we just got it today. Brand new off the press, As We Journey. Kaylee is one of our artists on As We Journey. And so is Jessica. And so is Caesar wrote one of the songs on, on this recording. Um, David sang on the recording. Uh, just a, a very, very cool thing. I love the fact that Urshan, the Urshan community is promoting God's voice as it's expressed through young people. And these are beautiful projects. They're not choir projects. They're very lyrical. They're very artistic. They're um, even probably a little more mellow than some of our choir material. Um, I was listening to As We Journey. I got to hear it, a pre-release of it. And I was like, man, this is the kind of CD I would love to just have on as, as I'm praying around my house. I love this CD. Um, Jessica wrote an incredible song out of a very difficult moment in her life. She wrote an incredible song about forgiveness. And that song about forgiveness is on the project as we journey. Great, great material. And I want, I want to share that all with you. Finally, last but not least, our King's House Tour t-shirts. Now, apparently, this is good news, right? Apparently, a larger portion of our constituencies uh, across our churches in the last week wear size small. I guess that's a good problem, right? So we are sold out of smalls, this is the report I got, because I guess there's lots of small people out there. Amen for small people. <laughs> you know, we've been told we have an obesity problem in America, but apparently on the King's House tour, it's all the small people buying the t-shirts. So praise the Lord for that. And you'll notice on the back, right here, Appleton, Wisconsin. <laughs> And I just have to say, I have a very, very, very special place in my heart for Wisconsin. My husband is from Bay City, Wisconsin, over uh, just on the Minnesota border, little tiny town um, close to Red Wing, Minnesota. My husband's from Wisconsin. My mom's from Marshfield, not too far from here. My mom's from Marshfield. And my brother, for those of you that want to connect the dots and you're like, she kind of seems vaguely familiar, my brother is Phil Demas in the Madison Church. So that's my baby brother. And I'm excited that tonight I get to go see Phil and Fiona, my precious brother and sister-in-law. But we love you all. We love this church. We love what God is doing. At this time, our group, our ensemble called United is going to sing it for you. And then the choir is coming back. And I'm just saying in faith, God is going to show up in the next 30 minutes. God is going to demonstrate himself in an amazing way.
psalmist we pull that from the psalmist when he said better is one day in your courts I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God there's one thing that I desire and that will I seek after above everything else above any kind of career above any kind of wealth any kind of uh, gain any kind of thing that this world has to offer me one thing 
have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after. And he says that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. How many know we live in a, in a very dark world? All around us, you look in the media, you look in the social realm, everything is just, you, it seems like it's all falling to pieces. Everywhere you look, there's, there's death, there's, there's turmoil, there's tribulation, whatever. But I know, if I'm reading my Bible correctly, that it says in the end times, there will be wars and rumors of wars and famines and pestilence. And all of these things that are so overwhelming, it so consumes our thoughts and it so easily distracts us from our purpose and where we're ending up. Because I know that when that trumpet sounds, that I am not gonna, I'm not gonna care about what anything else is going on in the world. I'm not gonna care what's happening down the road. I'm not gonna care what's happening on the news. All I'm gonna care about is I'm gonna be in the house of the Lord for eternity, all the days of my life. I'm gonna behold the beauty of the Lord and I'm going to inquire in his temple. So we sing this right now. You are God, and we're, good, and we're waiting just to see him. We're waiting for that day when we can cry out to him and we can say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Lord, we worship you today. To give me honor, power, forever and ever. To the one be all glory and honor. To give me honor, power, forever and ever. He is the Lord. He's the awesome Redeemer. He's mighty in battle. Jesus, our Savior. He's the awesome Redeemer. He's mighty in battle. To the one be all glory and honor, dominion and power, forever and ever.
just to see you, to behold you in all of your glory. War is over, we're victorious, we're the winner in Satan's defeat. today. Oh, Lord, we're waiting on your presence to fill this room, Jesus. You're here today. We praise you, oh God. Hallelujah. That's it. Just keep it up. Keep it up. Oh, we're glorifying that name above every name. Oh, we worship you today, Lord. Oh, yes. Amen. 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 I'm about to drop some knowledge on you you've probably never heard before. If something's broken, it doesn't work. Just kidding, it's not all that profound, but it's something that every now and then we tend to forget because sometimes in our spirit, we become broken. And we think that maybe we're not working right, something's wrong, but I'm telling you, there comes a season in every person's life where God will break you. But I want to draw your attention to the words of the Old Testament prophet Micah. In chapter 7, verse 7, he said this, Therefore, I will look unto the Lord. I will wait on the God of my salvation because my God will hear me. I don't know if you're broken in the house this morning, 
I don't know if maybe it's a financial brokenness. I don't know if maybe emotionally or spiritually you're wounded or maybe it's even a physical decapity. I don't even know what the word is right now. But you know what I'm saying. There comes a time of brokenness. But I remind you of that word. I will wait upon the Lord. Because sometimes maybe it feels like you're not moving in the right direction because you're broken, but maybe you're not supposed to be moving at all. But instead, we should be waiting on the Lord our God because I remind you of this. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and they shall not faint. So I don't know where you're at in your life today. But if you're broken, maybe you're in a season of waiting, I encourage you to cry out to the Lord, look unto him, and say, God, you are my salvation, and I will wait on you.
on you. Somebody make this your prayer today. God, I'm not moving. Oh, I'm here waiting. I'm here waiting on you. him right now somebody needs to make up in their mind that God I'm not moving I don't care what comes my way God I'm not moving I don't care what winds and waves come my way I don't care what storms God I'm not moving I'm here waiting Lord <laughs> they that wait they that wait they that wait along the Lord oh you are worthy you are worthy yes church reach out Reach out. Oh, make up your mind. Make up your mind today. God, I'm not moving. God, I'm not moving. They that wait. They that wait. God I serve a God who cares about me every step of the way he is looking out for me this next song that we're gonna sing came out of a, a situation that all of us heard about on November of 2015 there was a terrorist attack in, in Paris France and I was completely just heartbroken for the families and for everybody that was involved I remember going into a time of prayer up in our chapel one day after choir and after lunch and I was just on the piano and, and I was I was talking to God and I was saying God how can all of this be going on why is this happening what can we do what can be done to stop this and in that moment the Lord directed me to 2nd Chronicles 7 14 that says if my people who were called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways and seek my face. I will heal from heaven 
and I will heal their land. I'm here to tell you right now that it does not matter if it is a sickness, if it is a marital problem, if your family is falling apart, humble yourself and pray and he will hear you from heaven. There is nothing that God can't heal. There is nothing that God cannot fix in your life. God is in control at every moment. God is in control. Just humble yourself and pray. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus.
There's a powerful anointing in the house this morning. I don't know how it is that God takes people that are full of fear and men and women who are full of shame and broken people who so desperately need forgiveness. And he takes this ragtag bunch of people and he says, you are my royal priesthood. You are my chosen generation. I can use you. I've called you by my name. mercy of the Lord is in the house this morning. The mercy of the Lord is in the house this morning. He's walked into the room and he's extended his robes of grace towards you and your circumstance today. I know there's so many at the altar already. But if there's something in your life that you need the mercy and the goodness of the Lord to cover, if you're bound by fear or worry, if you're bound by shame, if the story of your past haunts you when you go to sleep at night, if there's sickness in your body, just press your way on in. Press your way on in and let's just find a place. Let's wait on the Lord, church. Let's not move too quickly, but press on in. And bring our circumstances to the throne of God this morning. I will wash away your sin. chosen my generation my royal priesthood my holy nation you are my chosen my generation my royal priesthood my holy nation you are my chosen I will. 
sing it with us. Jesus, name above all.